Hey, Happy New Year. And uh, yes, the colors are just to make sure you understand. It's January. If you don't own a few light tops, you're in so much trouble. I would like, without preamble, to get into the conversations that will rule our lives in 2017. I think education is going to be paramount. Um, elections, obviously, will be part of that. But then elections rule everything in our lives. And money in all its forms. Um, lack of and um, the fact that it's an election year, the, some will be floating around, okay? Let me start with education because it is very much on our minds. Um, everybody's going back to school and it will be a strange air as you go back to school, especially public school. Um, I'm not going to delabor the issues on KCP and KCSE. I think we've had a rude awakening and it's going to take a moment for us to deal with it. And the reason I say that is I don't know why we are shocked that KCP was out early. I mean, don't we shade? And then it's that's it. Other than the insha and the composition, everything else is marked by hand. But otherwise, it should be actually done in three to four weeks. And it was done. Uh, in the case of KCSC, I know it's a shock to the system that we have gotten the real results. We are horrified. We are upset. In fact, I remember somebody on my Facebook page said, Oh my God, this is so unfair, given all the work and money that parents and teachers have done. So you want to be given something, not earn it? And when you're finally told this is actually what the fruit of your labor was, you don't like it? Um, I think you need to interrogate what it is that brought us here. Wallace Kantai says, what Matiangi and his team have done is finally taken the car, to the, the car to the garage and it's gotten a very deep cleaning. However, what he has not yet done is diagnostics. And diagnostics is where it's going to hurt. Because while the car is in the garage, you're going to find out that it had a fake spare part. And that's what it kept consuming the fuel it did. While that car is in the garage and the diagnosis come out, you're going to find out that apparently it's been driven badly. It's been going to places it shouldn't go because you didn't have a tracker on it. And that's where we are. The truth is the grades are the grades. But here's the other thing we must interrogate. And it's so hard for a certain section of Kenya, not the whole of Kenya, to deal with this. And I need to talk about myself. I didn't go to the school that qualified me by my A, B, or C. For 12 years of my life at Loreto Convent Valley Road, I, I was graded on everything, on my ability to read, to write, to be polite, to say good morning, um, not to scuttle because we were not allowed to run. We had to walk up the stairs. If anybody were late for a class, you needed to walk. So I was graded on my ability to be a lady. I was graded on my ability to swim, to play tennis. I was graded on my ability to do well in class and sit and not fidget, you know? So the school system I went to created a person, an entirety. We were never the people who sat there and twiddled our thumbs or waiting for these schools that used to be in the front pages of the papers um, celebrating their grades. We just, that wasn't part of our makeup. In fact, the only time in my life, and I always tell people that I met a group of people who told me I can't, is when I went to the University of Nairobi for 12 years. At Loretta Common Valley Road, I was never told I can't. I was told I can. I was told go out and question it and do it. And then, you know, you go to the University of Nairobi and somebody says, well, you can't this and you can't that and girls don't do that. Really? Really? I got an amazing, and I always say this, I'm so grateful to my parents that I got an amazing grounding. Those 12 years in Valley Road were exceptional. Because the four years at the University of Nairobi didn't rattle me. I had a fantastic foundation. And anyway, once I got out of there, I kept walking and went on to be everything I could be. Because remember, my 12 years, the first ones, had told me there's nothing I can't do, including have a YouTube channel. While everybody's wondering, what is she doing? I'm like, yeah, I'll try it. Because I came from a space where A, B, C, what does that mean? What does that mean? It means absolutely bugger all. And I know you're sitting there seething, saying you can't say that. Yes, I can. Because I think what is important is that you must always do your absolute best. And anybody who was a Valley Road girl at the time I was will tell you this. Sister Tressa always said, only your best is good enough. Only your best is good enough. And that's all that is required of you, your best. And my best is not yours. You can't keep juxtaposing me against somebody else's marking system and then telling me that because I didn't do that, then I'm nothing. As somebody once said, if you keep judging a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will actually spend its entire life thinking it's a failure. So 
We've got to interrogate what it is we're telling our children and what that education system is literally imparting. And I'd like to talk about that in the next video. Um, subscribe. 30,000 subscribers I love. I want 300,000. See, I can say it. Thank you.